Hey everybody, this is Dean, and welcome to Dino's Tech World. Today I got this uh, phishing uh, scam email, and I thought it was just a pretty good example of some of the mistakes they make on these uh, scam emails, and so I wanted to show you some things you can look out for as far as uh, uh, phishing emails, scam emails, and such. So this is an email and it's about the what's up or the what's app lottery the million dollar what's app lottery if you look that up if you just google that really quickly you'll find out it's a scam to begin with the other thing you can do is if you sus suspicious of an email you can actually uh, copy some of the phrases out of it or some of the key lines and put it into google and a lot of times it will actually bring up the specific scam that it's about but with a lot of scams like this they'll change the lottery name uh, like so they'll they'll change the company that is supposedly having the lottery first of all you should be suspicious that you've won a lottery that you didn't even enter uh, that's your first clue uh, that ain't gonna happen I'm just I'm just telling you <laughs> you don't win lotteries you don't enter you don't win something you don't enter so if we look up at the top here, we can say see that this is uh, from uh, admins at trendgraphics.com, which I think is some marketing company, but it's not even related to WhatsApp. And the WhatsApp is owned by Facebook, which is now Meta. So you would expect the address to be either from WhatsApp.com, Facebook.com, Meta.com, something like that, or some official um channel of Facebook. Now why they picked this uh, email address which they made up to uh, to use I'm not sure. It might be that there's been like I said more than one version of this and so that was originally the company that was used. Or it was originally the company that was included in the original version of this email. Or it's just one that they picked out randomly. Or they they might might even have some sort of program that's kind of generating random emails like this. A lot of reasons I might do that, but that's not an email you would expect it to be from. Now the other thing is, you can see it says hide details up here. In this particular uh, email application, you can show the details. A lot of email applications, you can click on it and it will sh show more details. You want to look at the full header, or as much of the header as you can see. And so it's pulled out these other uh, attributes here. So if we go down to the reply line right here, you can see the reply is not the same address and not the same domain as uh, as what it's the from address. The reply address is when you hit reply, what address it's going to go to. And sometimes there are different addresses. But this is a Yahoo address and it's dot jp for japan so it's a yahoo address from japan first of all and then it's got this weird name here it has rev which i assume is short for reverend who knows what it's short for underscore peter so reverend under reverend peter sent this i guess uh but there's a number an odd number at, after it 200 so it looks like an address they just made up for the purposes of uh, sending this email and they're only going to use it to collect uh, whatever m information they can before you know closing out the account. Another clue right here is you can see this two line right here and uh, there's nothing under the two line and uh, I did not remove the address that was in there there's just nothing there so when you have the two line, if you if if it's an odd address, like sometimes it will be address it's not even your address, or it's an address to an email account you never use, or there's no address here, that's very suspicious as well. Congratulations isn't totally suspicious, but it's very generic. It's just like congratulations. It doesn't say congratulations, you're a winner. Congratulations for winning this lottery or anything like that. So th that's another suspect line as well. And if we look down here, the first line is WhatsApp admin. And uh, generally, you wouldn't see that 
at the top. First of all, it's very generic. It doesn't give a person's name or full title. And, and usually you would have, have uh, the salutation, which is right down here, and just says congratulations. It doesn't address it specifically to anyone. It's just generic, congratulations. So it's easy to just send this email out to a bunch of different addresses. You don't even have to change anything. Another thing is sometimes when they even bother to write a script that will change the name on it, there may be something wrong about the name. Like you might not have your real name uh, on your email address. You, know, you might, you know, might have a nickname. or So if you see something that's not your name or a nickname you use or just kind of... Uh, an address like this one up here, like like just your generic email uh, login ID, that's just been generated. It's not actually to you. They haven't even taken the time to find out what your name actually is. All right, so if you read through an email that's uh, a kind of a scam email, the other thing you want to look for are uh, different errors and in uh, uh, the way they write it because there's a way you can tell something that's been formally written uh, by a company you know you've seen a lot of different form letters that are real form letters your email has won one million dollar one million United States dollar it doesn't say dollars it should be dollars so there's an error right there right off and it says your email has won it doesn't say you have won or you have won through your email that's a, a little bit odd of a wording a wording and it then says in the 2022 whatsapp lottery and you are expected to claim it as quickly as possible or your lottery will be transferred to a second runner-up so just trying to get you to respond quickly so right off the fact that they say oh you've won a million dollars or you're going to win something, or you're going to get something, or you're going to save something, and then they have a call to action immediately, quickly. Uh, it is they're trying to get you to react, which is what advertising does a lot of times as well. But but the fact is, is they're trying to appeal to your greed and then appeal to your sense of urgency, and that does that is actually an actual advertising a lot, but it's definitely in a lot of scam emails. It's a way to appreciate your commitment to WhatsApp and the impression you have given other people about the app. That's a little odd, the impression you've given. Uh, so once again, that's kind of a, a mistake. A lot of times these letters are written by people whose uh, who, who's first language is in English and so there'll be like some odd things or they've used a translator you know they may have written it out in a different language and put it in like uh, a, the Google translator or something so it comes out a little bit weird now here's another clue right here it says for security reasons your winning number is I think that would have been more worded like uh, your, your claim number is this uh, uh, but it says please keep this information very confidential to avoid being hunted by hoodlum which should be hoodlums <laughs> when, or a hoodlum when you are finally uh, w when you finally claim your, your winning and once again that, that, that sentence there are a number of things wrong in it but uh, n no one would say hunted by Hoodlums, uh, they would uh, they would say uh, to avoid uh, being scammed, probably or something. Probably don't want to use that word. They want to use the word hoodlum isn't a word that 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 the people use much anymore, particularly in formal writing. Uh, so it's it's just wrong, is all it is. Um, and then they have here. They give all the stuff that they want, your your name, your address, your age. And there's inconsistencies here in the capitalization. They don't have colons after each one of these, which they may or may not have. And then it says your telephone numbers, whereas if it were a, uh, 
if it were a real email, they would probably say home, work, sell. They would have taken the time. And then it says, yours sincerely, WhatsApp admin. And once again, very generic. Whenever you see a generic thing at the bottom of this, it doesn't say a name. And in it's just like it doesn't even have a particular specific title. That's a very generic looking title. Whenever you see that, that's kind of a clue to there's something wrong. So that's just kind of going over what a phishing, a scam phishing email looks like uh, and some of the things that stand out in it. And usually one or two of these things are going to clue you off right away, but this has like multiple things in it. It's actually a good example. I don't think I could have written a better example. I'm Dean, and this has been Dino's Tech World, and I will talk to you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like.